Alias Grace is a Canadian television miniseries directed by Mary Heron and written by Sarah Polly, based on Margaret Atwood's 1996 novel of the same name. The series consists of six episodes. It premiered on CBC on September 25th and appeared on Netflix on November 3, 2017. Alias Grace looks like a true crime show. Atwood based the novel on the true story of a poor, disenfranchised, long-suffering Irish-Canadian immigrant and maid found guilty of murder in 1843. It's difficult to tell whether Grace Marks played by Sarah Gadon helped James McDermott played by Kerr Logan shoot their employer and strangle his mistress. Based on the novelist's assiduous research, the story was basically making a murderer. 1859 is the year the show starts. Grace's story unfolds in flashback, after 15 years in prison, her co-conspirator James McDermott was hanged. She's getting some support from the community. David Cronenberg's character, Reverend Buringer, asks Dr. Simon Jordan for help. There are chances that based on Dr. Jordan analysis report, alias Grace could be pardoned. He specialized in behavioral analysis, what we call a psychiatrist now. She said she didn't remember what happened the day of the murders. They meet every day and Grace starts telling her story from the beginning. Her story captivates Dr. Jordan, and it starts affecting his personal life. Just like the quilt she sews during these meetings, she tells the story in a very convincing and compelling way. This series follows her treacherous journey from Ireland to Canada, where she loses her mom. When Grace leaves behind her younger siblings and sexually abusive father, she works as a maid in a prominent household. There, she meets Rebecca Lilliard's charismatic, politically driven Mary Whitley. Grace has been heartbroken and hardened by an illegal abortion. Every scene is subtly tinged with violence, rendering it painfully evident how little control girls of that era had over their fate. It may never be known for a fact, but that is what makes Alias Grace so compelling and intriguing. A part of this is also what makes the journey of the main character interesting, and how she transforms from a naive young girl to a mysterious woman. Aside from the writing of each character, Margaret Atwood also knows how to establish a world that captures the attention of the reader. Grace Mark's mystery, however, makes Alias Grace more intriguing and intriguing. I would strongly suggest watching it with an open mind. It was as if it was burnt into the paper they were writing it on. He presently came to me and said, open the trap door and I'll throw her down in the cellar. And once I said a thing, I knew I could never get the words back. Only they were the wrong words. I gave him a piece of white cloth and followed him to the trap door. Because whatever I said would be twisted around. <coughs> even if it was the plain truth in the first place. <coughs> But now I feel as if everything I say is right. As long as I say something, anything at all, you smile and write it down. When you write, I feel as if you were drawing on me, drawing on my skin with the feather end of an old-fashioned goose pun, as if hundreds of butterflies have settled all over my face and are softly opening and closing their wings. But underneath that is another feeling, a feeling of being wide-eyed awake and watchful. It's like being wakened suddenly in the middle of the night by a hand over your face and you sit up with your heart going fast and no one is there. And underneath that is another feeling still feeling of being torn open. Not like a body of flesh, it is not painful as such, but like a peach. And not even torn open, but too ripe and splitting of its own accord. And inside the peach, there's a stone. <laughs> 